Team worked their butts off. You know, we cut a tire early, early in the race, uh, right after halfway, and we just battled back. You know, we just survived. Uh, that's what this place is about. We had a really good car, uh, got behind on track position. Uh, luckily, it worked out. I hate it for Dylan. It looks like he's having a rough time over there. It was super hot those last 50 laps. Uh, I'm, I'm about to give out. And, uh, I could lay down like he did. What happened on that restart? Yeah, um, I, I guess he just spun the tires. Uh, he started and then he stopped. And uh, I guess when he started back up, he just spun his tires. And uh, I got hit in the back end and just give me one heck of a shot down the front straight away. Come off two and spotter said six back. So well, I just kept digging. Uh, Man, gotta thank all these people that helped me. Uh, my crew chief, Brian Davis, he works his ass off uh, week in and week off. Uh, my dad, you know, he he foots the bill 99% and, uh, you know, Freaker USA to come on to, uh, for this race and a uh, good way to show them what we can do by being in Victor Lane at Martinsville, the biggest race of my life. What happened in the chaos of that one restart? How'd you get through it? Um, I just seen, uh, I guess it was Dylan and Lee and uh, the 08 kind of jacked up together and uh, Philip got in there and I just kind of like, hung back and shot to the inside once the right. hole kind of opened up. Uh, man, I can't thank JRI Shops, Hedgecock Racing, Kowalski Racing Engines, everybody that's been behind me for the entire, entire deal. Uh, just thank everybody. Well, congratulations. What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know. My dad might not find me at work. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Tommy, go ahead. 